Hello and welcome to the CTM News Break, where we keep you up to date on what's happening right here in town. I'm Diane Sherrod Steimel. Deaths from opioid-related overdoses declined in 2018 for the second consecutive year. That's according to state figures that officials say shows signs of progress in the fight against an epidemic that took nearly 2,000 lives last year. The death rate is still significantly higher than it was before it began climbing rapidly at the start of the decade, but state officials say two straight years of decreases should be seen as evidence that efforts to support treatment programs, to improve access to the overdose reversing drug Narcan, and to raise awareness about the risks of addiction are working. In other news, our favorite Chelmsford High School student a cappella groups, the Crescendos and the Thursdays, have advanced to the semifinal round of the 2019 International Championship of High School a cappella. The Thursdays placed first at the Crescendos placed third at the ICHSA quarterfinal. The ensembles also took home multiple individual awards. They got Best Arrangement, Best Vocal Percussion, and Best Choreography. You can catch both of these amazing a cappella groups and many more at ACA Apocalypse. That's March 22nd and 23rd at the Carl Mandina Performing Arts Center at CHS. Chelmsford High School students got a global perspective with a teacher exchange program sponsored by the U.S. Department of State. I'm from Moldova, so if you have heard about uh, it, it's something between Ukraine and Romania. It's a small country. It's not such a big country. It has something like 3 million people. Uh, I work in a city, in a high school. Uh, our school is, I think, actually in two schools. One just for boys and the other for boys and girls together. The Fulbright Classroom Teacher Exchange Program, in collaboration with UMass Lowell, hosts teachers from around the world. Teachers learned about countries they weren't familiar with. The visiting teachers were from India, Iraq, Burkina Faso, and Ghana. These teachers were accepted into the program because they've demonstrated their excellence and are considered the best candidates from their home countries. Many of them are department heads, have advanced degrees, or are considered highly qualified in their fields. State Rep. James Arciero recently hosted Chelmsford Veterans Agent Regina Jackson for the Massachusetts Veterans Service Officers Association's annual legislative luncheon that was held at the State House. The luncheon recognizes the Massachusetts veterans agents who assist veterans and their families across the Commonwealth. The event was held to recognize the role played by Massachusetts veterans agents in honoring and supporting the veterans of Massachusetts and their families. And finally, Chelmsford students recently joined thousands of youth across the globe in entering an annual art contest to express their visions of peace. Two hands are like holding that earth for like peace. Each year I am so very impressed with the wonderful, wonderful work, creative ideas, amazing expertise. Um, and above all, this is all about peace. This is good news. This is what the world needs. Because they're promoting peace, because they're drawing that poster, it might inspire them to do other things. It might inspire them not to bully. It might inspire them to be more a peaceful person. So it's something we've done uh, here in Chelmsford for the last five years. Uh, we started out with maybe seven or eight posters and it has now uh, transpired into uh, 60 some odd posters and it's, it's just, uh, it's been great. I think it's one of the best things Lions does because you're going to get the children at a young age and hopefully they become, you know, and they'll just keep promoting peace their entire lives. So. For more than 25 years, millions of children from nearly 100 countries have participated in the Lions Club International Peace Poster Contest. It's sponsored by the Lions Clubs around the world. Thanks for watching this CTM Newsbreak brought to you by Chelmsford Telemedia. If you have news we could use, contact us at newsbreak at chelmsfordtv.org. I'm Diane Sherrod-Steimel.